Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this MQL4 tutorial, I will be answering a question that I got asked two times this week, which is how to solve the double order send problem when you are coding in Expert Advisor, because this is an issue that happens quite often, because especially in the Forex market, where we see multiple ticks happening at the same moment and the market is uh, moving very very quickly there can be many instances where multiple orders are sent most of the times you will see double orders sent so essentially you will see two orders sent at the same time automatically instead of only one uh, so i will now give you a solution to this which is very 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 simple and uh, that will stop your expert advisor from sending multiple orders. It is an easy fix that you can apply to a potentially any expert advisor, essentially. So let's get right into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. The first thing that I have done here is just a, I coded a very, very simple a expert advisor. I coded it very quickly. So this expert advisor essentially will a, calculate the stochastic value, will calculate the ATR value. Then it will check if the time passed between one order and the other one. And it will be buying if the stochastic value goes below 10 and selling if the stochastic value goes above 90. So very very simple the stop loss will simply be an atr based stop loss at the atr of one that was calculated here and it, the take profit will be at two times the atr value so essentially it gives a one to two risk to reward if you want to check out the functions this is the function that calculates the lot size simply based on the risk per trade of the, that you can set from the inputs i will now show you that and it, this function here will simply check that 12 hours have actually passed, okay? So it can only take a trade if 12 hours have passed from the previous trade. This stops the expert advisor from processing multiple orders at the same time, obviously, which is this one here. So again, this I just coded this extremely quickly. It's very simple expert advisor. I just created it for the sake of, this, of creating this tutorial, okay? I haven't even... A, created up. I, I don't expect this strategy to work or anything like that. I just created it to explain this concept on how to block the expert advisor from creating it, from sending multiple orders at the same time, which is an issue that if you ever try developing an expert advisor and coding in MQL4, you probably already encountered this issue because it is quite common, especially if you are trading the Forex market, which moves quite quickly because your conditions for entry it can be met at the same time, essentially. And you could see your expert advisor sending multiple orders in the case of very quick price movements. So let's revise here the logic. Well, the first thing is to solve this issue is you have to declare a variable, which a variable which I, in this case I called temp block, and I just set it to false, okay? Now, th so this one essentially globally will always be false. So when you are when you have your part of code that is supposed to be sending the order, what you will do is you want to add here a check that checks if this temp block variable is still false. Okay. Now, if it is still false, and that is where you actually are starting to send the orders in this part of code here, there you set it to true. What this does is since here you're changing it to true, it is impossible for the expert advisor to find again, this condition is valid because again, before starting to process and checking if the stochastic value is below 10 or above 90, it will check if the temporary block is false. And here the exclamation mark simply in MQL4 means is false, okay? Means false. So if the temporary block is false, then it can process this part of code. If it is true, it cannot process it again. So by simply doing this check and declaring this a global variable as false, you are fixing this issue 
because in this case, when it will check that this is false, it will not be able to, uh, to process this part of code because here you will set it to true. And in this case, if the stochastic value is below 10, then you will be sending the buy order. And uh, as normal, you will calculate the stop loss value. You will calculate the take profit value all based on the ATR stop losses. It will also calculate the required uh, risk per trade. In fact, this function here will call the custom function that I have uh, already declared here essentially. And at the end of the conditions that your expert advisor is using to trade, obviously in this case, it is quite simple conditions, but you, this works also if you have much more complex conditions, which I have in, in most of my expert advisors. At the end of the order sending part of code, essentially, where you're checking all the conditions to trade, you will reset that temp lock variable back to false. Why? Because in this case, otherwise it will only work for the first order because then you changed it to true and then it will simply stop working because the next time it can, it actually will not send any more orders, obviously, because here we're checking it to be false. We want it to be false, otherwise this part will not execute. So if you then do not set it to false again, what will happen is that the next time you will not send any orders because it will check if it is false. It is actually true, so it is not false. Therefore, this part of code will not be executed on the new tick. So on the on on the new on tick function uh, tick that essentially you are having with the symbol that you're currently trading in this case or back testing in this case. So this is a very 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 simple fix. But uh, you will see if you're facing this issue that if you implement this very simple fix your expert advisor will stop sending multiple orders because even if the market is moving extremely quickly, this will fix it because all this part of code here, and I can highlight it for you, this one here will not be executed again if the temporary block is not false. And if you're setting it immediately to true, the first time that you're checking these conditions, essentially it is impossible that this gets executed twice at the same time, unless this has already been reset to false. So this essentially solved the problem the first time that I was facing this issue. And since then I have been implementing this in, in all my expert advisors and I have not seen any new double order sent. So here is an easy fix. If you have new questions regarding other issues that you might be facing with your MQL for, for programming, let me know in the comments below and I will create another tutorial. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire all-inclusive mentorship program. This is the most complete all-inclusive mentorship program. You will see here a complete presentation of everything included, which is essentially all my courses, including the programming course on automated algorithmic trading. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, all included in the mentorship program, the trading station software with the Telegram signals notification, and also the CO2 data software, which is essentially the one that we just used in this analysis. So everything all for lifetime access. And if you continue to scroll down, you will see that you will have the possibility after the testimonials to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest at least to go and check it out at transparentfxtrading.com. You find the link also in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.